Hello there, Katerina. My name's Andrew, and I'm the essay corrector here at IELTSpodcast.com. Thanks for submitting this trial correction on international marketing. What normally happens is I'll read through sentence by sentence, and I'll just let you know how well you've responded to the task, how well you structured the essay, I'll talk about the language used and whether it was formal and precise enough, and I'll also correct some grammar along the way. So my first point is, so let's let's outline for you what uh, an essay should feature in this kind. So this is a discuss both views and give your opinion. So in the intro, we need to paraphrase the question. Then we need to provide a thesis statement. Then we need to outline the ideas we will present. So two or three sentences can do that. But if we look up here, we can see that this is really quite a long introduction. In fact, it's longer than both paragraphs put together. Um, so then in a body paragraph, there are some rules about body paragraphs. Uh, a body paragraph contains one core idea. And that idea is usually expressed using four sentences. The first one, we introduce the topic generally. And the second one, we expand the topic with specifics. And the third one, we support our idea with an example. And then we explain how it relates back to the question. So the point, really. And then we repeat for body paragraph two. And then we conclude. But I'll, tell, I'll go through that in a minute. So in a discuss both views and give your opinion, we have to paraphrase the question entirely. So we could say something like, while some people see international marketing as an essential form of education, as it is an affordable way of spreading languages, culture and ideas, others see it as an unwelcome invasion or intrusion into their country. This essay advocates the former opinion, since developing countries can be strengthened economically and educationally as a result of the spending of multinational companies. So intro, paraphrase the question, provide your opinion, which can be expressed with this essay agrees that, or this essay strongly disagrees that, or this essay advocates the, any kind of language you want, but what does the essay believe? What do you believe? What are you about to try to say? and then outline the ideas that you're going to present in your body paragraphs. Each body paragraph only contains one idea, and we have two body paragraphs. So what's the sensible thing to do here? Express one side of the question here. International marketing is sometimes seen as invasive and intrusive. And then the second part of the opinion here, other people see international marketing as an, an essential form of education. And then when we conclude, we just use two sentences, or one even, to um, reaffirm our opinion. So to conclude, due to, and so we summarize, summarize the ideas and reaffirm our opinion. But this is the structure that we need to see. Three things in the intro, and four things in each body paragraph. Um, <clears throat> what we see here, is you've, rather than planning the essay, you've just started writing. So it doesn't really follow a set structure. Um, what I'll do as well, by the way, is I will send you um, a pack of three high-scoring essays, including an answer to this question, so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about, what is required for a band nine response. Um, <clears throat> but let's just correct some of these spelling mistakes. So 
Spelling mistakes will cost you marks in the exam. One of the grammatical range and accuracy... Okay, so one sec, this should be loose. In the grammatical range and accuracy category, in order to score a band 7, we have to produce regular sentences that are completely free from error. So now we've solved the spelling errors. So yeah, the only part of this We can say the subject. This bit here is not necessary. So we do really need to include a little bit more about our ideas in this intro, but for now I'm just trying to show you sort of what would be required. Let's have a quick gander at the word count. So we're, we're also now a few, we're 14 words under the word count, but I think we can squeeze these in somewhere else. So again here, one, this is not by contrast uh, anymore, but it's not saying that it's the only way to develop. It's saying that it is a good way. So really in this paragraph we need to talk about how international marketing can improve. We're not saying that it is necessary to improve a culture. We're saying that it has the propensity to improve a culture. Also try to leave your opinion in the intro and the conclusion the body paragraphs should be used to, as objectively as possible, um, discuss your ideas. Um, so there's no example in this paragraph. And this one is not, this, isn't a, this is opinion, this is not a real world example. You're just saying young people are reading international books more than national books. Um, but there's no proof for this here. This an, exa an example. The point of an example is to support, to prove your idea. So this this is just a, this isn't just further opinion. Um, so we don't want to give too much opinion in the body of the essay. We want to just discuss the viewpoints um, in an academic fashion. Introduce, expand, support, and explain. And also the conclusion needs to be just to conclude from the from the examples and arguments given this essay firmly agrees that a, that a balanced approach to international marketing must be sought uh, so as not to cause offense but continue to experience its benefits or something along those lines but i think you could benefit from um, doing one of our courses the courses come with eight essay corrections in total over which time we can slowly develop your ability to make you an excellent academic writer and try to make sure that you score more than a band seven in IELTS writing. So I'll send this over to you now. And uh, if you want to subscribe to a course, the links are on this very page you're staring at right now. I do hope to be seeing some more of your work coming through soon, Katerina. But until then, have a great day and goodbye for now.